1.0, the red deck, plus one discard every round, chat. <coughs> okay, welcome to Bellatro 1.0. If you're interested, this is going to be going over how to play Bellatro in general and just a lot of the... Uh... Uh, a lot of the basics behind the game and what some general strategies would be. So kind of how to play, but also how to win, I think, at the same time, hopefully. You know, I can't guarantee I'll win here, but having played the demo for... What do you think, chat? 70 hours? I think it was like 70 hours, along with a little bit of 1.0, if you include that. Uh, so we'll see how we do here. So Bellatro, you start out... You got to play poker hands to gain chips in order to beat whatever the goal is for that particular round, as they call it. There are three rounds per ante. That's already a lot of information so far, I understand. But the point is, before every single blind, as they call it, which is kind of... Uh, you can kind of swap that out with the term round, I think. Blind slash round. It's kind of the same thing, you know? Uh, there is a score that you have to beat. So we need to beat 300 chips for the next one. You can, you can choose to play it and earn some money by playing it. And then you're allowed to also visit the shop if you actually play the blind. Or you can skip it, and this thing will happen instead. That means you do not get the reward money. You do not get any interest from money, which we'll get into later. Um, and it means that you do not visit the shop. And instead, you would simply jump over to this one right away, into the big blind. And you have to choose whether to play this one or skip that one as well. Uh, we're definitely just going to play for now, though, I think. Okay, so your first hand, it's really easy to just kind of shoot for uh, a full house, most likely. Uh, you could go for a straight, but it needs to be a high value straight in order to get enough points here. So you can play up to five cards. You can play all the different poker hands. You don't need a lot of information about poker to understand this game, right, chat? But you need, you need to know the basics, you know what I mean? Lots of like suits and ranks. And you need to know some of the basic hands. Pair, two pair, three of a kind, four of a kind. Uh, flushes, etc. You need to know... You need to know the basics. Um, and you're going to play different hands. You want to play the highest value hand. You can also discard for free. You want to use as few hands as possible, generally, to get out of a round or a blind. Because you earn more money for how many hands you have left over. We'll get into what that money does for us. But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we want to discard here to get higher value cards because they are they are worth the number of chips that is on the face. So twos are only worth two chips. Threes are three. When you get up here, tens is ten. Queen is ten. Aces are eleven. Uh, and yeah, so you can kind of see what kind of score you'd get here based on a simple pair here. Now, you could select more cards than just that, but you'll still only be given the points for the cards that actually score. Does that make sense? So if you play this right now, you'll get 10 times 2, but you also got to add the value of the cards themselves too. So it'll actually be 24, sorry, it'll be 14 times 2. It's only worth 28 points. That's not a lot when you need 300. These will not score. They do not count. Now you can still, you might still want to play them because they will get discarded and you will draw new cards. But first we can just discard because there's no penalty for discarding as it is. Whoop. Done. Okay, we're very close to a high value straight here. We just need a king. We also have three fives, which is pretty good. Um, you could consider going for like four of a kind, but that's pretty risky. I think it's probably safer to just go for finding one of the four kings in the deck. Because it is a typical 52 card deck to start out. This card again, never punished. And that should be worth more than enough. There we go. That gets us out of round number one. So that is the basics of Bellatro, but there was a lot going on now, chat. Ooh, we actually got a really good Joker for early on here. Okay? We actually got a really good Joker. So this is the shop. You go to this in, in between every hand you play, uh, where you can get Jokers. We have five slots for Jokers. That's what the zero out of five is up here. Five slots mean you can hold five different special Jokers that do typically a very passive effect, but it's basically how you win because they do something that is usually very, very helpful in either getting a higher score or earning more money, which will allow you to get more jokers or better jokers will allow you to get, which will allow you to get a higher score. You know what I mean? Uh, so these are the jokers that are available to us right now. You can see their rarity, uncommon and common. So this is like a very basic joker right here. Played cards that with club suit give plus four multiplier when scored. Multiplier is the red number there. So that would be very helpful early on if you wanted. 
But I like this one because it's really early. Now, the verbiage in this one is slightly confusing, I feel. You earn $1 at the end of a round. Gains $2 when boss blind is defeated. What it means is that when we earn a dollar after every round we play, but when you beat a boss, that goes up to $3. And then you earn $3 for every round. Then you beat another boss, it goes up to $5. You earn $5 for every round. Does that make sense? So in other words, this is an incredibly good joker to get early on because it earns you a lot of money in the long run. However, however, it might be slightly greedy in a sense, right? Because it doesn't help us score better. It's pretty easy. I I, I don't know. I have I have died early on in Bellatra, that's for sure. It's definitely possible. But this is good good money earnings early on. That brings us down to four dollars. Now, ideally, you would get to around twenty five dollars. And you would hold $25 between every single round because you earn up to $5 in interest for every $5 you're holding. I hope that makes sense. So ideally, for economy's sake, you would hold a certain amount of money in between to earn more money. You know, the rich get richer kind of thing. Just become one of the 1%. That's all you need to know. Vouchers are special passives that usually have a very powerful effect, but they're also very expensive. You only you also only get one offered per ante which means like every bit after each boss a new one gets offered basically planet cards appear two times more frequently in the shop one dollar in interest per five dollars held yes sorry maybe that's a better way to explain it you get one dollar in interest for every five dollars held but it only goes up to 25 dollars so planet cards appear two times more frequently in the shop that means they would appear up here now what's a planet card uh, I would buy this, but I feel like I might lose if I start buying things that we shouldn't be yet. Uh, so I guess we'll see those when we see them, but they will power up specific hands. If I click here, you can kind of see all the different available hands that you can play and how they score here too. So you can get planet cards that level them up. See how they say level on the left side here? So you can level up high card, which means you just play, you know, a card because you don't have anything else generally you know all the way up to straight flush so you can level these up to make them give you more points basically that's what planet cards do but it's really random you don't know what planet cards you're gonna get uh and you might not get the ones that you want but Bellatro is the kind of game where you manipulate your deck you change your deck you change the cards in your deck or you use the jokers to make it easier to form usually specific hands so that you can keep playing the same ha hand or hands over and over again. You know what I mean? Ziggy, thank you so much for the 22 months. Thank you so much. Thank you for the kind words. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate. Tahano, thank you for the 31 months. Very good explanation. You guys are too nice to me today. You guys are too too nice to me. So that's what the Celestial Pack gives us. It gives us... We can choose one of three planet cards unoffered. Now, we'll just get to that later. Choose one of up to three playing cards to add to your deck. It's literally just, like, more cards. But they could be enhanced, which we'll see later on. But yeah, it could, they could offer you, like, an ace, a king, and a seven, for instance, to add to your deck. You might say, why would you want to add just, like, a random card to your deck? And that kind of has to do with... Um... Sometimes specific synergies. Sometimes you're just looking to add specific cards. Like, maybe you want to just add as many aces as possible to your deck. Maybe you're just looking for some enhanced cards, blah, 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 blah. You could also reroll the shop, but we're kind of broke. So let's go to the next round, finally. So if we skip this, the shop is guaranteed to offer a rare Joker next, but we don't want to do that. We just want to earn some money right now, I think. Okay, whoa, whoa, game, whoa, baby. Okay, whoa. So. Bro. So. Go for... Well, you might as well ditch the king, too, right? Because if you draw a queen, you don't need that. We go for getting a seven or a queen. I think it's the best best option here, right? In order to get a, a decent straight, it's probably not going to be... It's not going to be enough to win in one hand. We're, it's going to take multiple hands. I got nothing here. So we got a two pair, but it's not worth a lot. Two pairs are not worth a lot. Okay, so now we can kind of switch to a straight flush, kind of? Or maybe we could just play a flush, even, depending on what we draw here. A straight flush is we're obviously it's overkill at this point in time. So you don't wanna you don't wanna rip it too hard, you know what I mean? You know? I don't know. We have two discards left though here. 
So that's a flush. Uh, it's kind of risky because you don't want to chuck out all your discards. Because if we don't get it. Okay. So we probably... I think we, we just play a straight. To start. Because I, I don't think the odds of getting a straight flush are very high. And we plan to complete it in two hands, basically. That got us most of the way there. We got a two pair now. Let's see if we can get a full house by ditching all this, I think. We could go for a flush. You can take a look. There's only one only one queen left under the deck. Two sixes. 27 cards total. Last discard. Punished. Thoroughly punished. I don't think I two pairs enough. We'll also include this card just to discard it. It might take an additional hand now. Let me say. Yep. Oh, and then I have absolutely nothing. Close to a flush. So we... I don't think that's enough to even get us out of here. Possibly punished. Okay, we're alive. <laughs> We're alive. That was close, though. That was our last hand. It's easy to get just uh, destroyed early on like that. You know what I mean? All right, all right, all right, all right. We're out, we're out, we're out. So the rocket gave us a little bit of money. It's only $1 right now. So we got some jokers here. You probably want something to kind of help you along now. If you're just trying to win, you don't want to be too greedy. Played cards with the heart suit give plus four multiplier when scored. I think we just grabbed this to get by now this is actually a really good joker for the late game if you've manipulated your deck a lot times three multiplier if all cards held in hand are spades or clubs but this early on it's not going to do a lot for me and i'm worried that we're just going to end up getting murdered kind of i don't know it's actually kind of okay still even right now it's pretty good you can kind of play around and you would just play and discard your hearts and diamonds right it's a tough choice, but we need something to help us along a little bit here. And then this also kind of helps us decide where we're going with the deck and the run in itself. You know what I mean? Hmm. The question is, do we go big or go safe? Let's go safe for now for our first run. I think this is safe, basically. Minus one hand size. So this is a boss blind. So you get an extra negative effect, I guess you could say, that you wouldn't normally. So we want to play hearts. We have a seven, six, five. That's not very good. I guess we can hold. We want to hold that heart. Do we hold the sixes, though? We are close to a flush, but it's not very good unless there are hearts. So I don't think it's worth really even fishing for that. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. I think that should be enough to get us out of here easily. One and done. Okay. Have I explained the packs yet? Not really because we haven't been able to spend money on it yet. We're going to get there though. We shall get there. Okay. So we're out of the boss. Now we're on to anti two. So things ramp up quite a bit. I can't really show you easily here. But this was the previous one. And it's obviously going to get more difficult as we go. All right, so here's our weird voucher for this ante. We will boss blind one time per ante, $10 per roll. I don't really like that. So if you don't like the look of the boss that's coming up, you can roll it, I guess. I don't know how you actually do it, but uh, yeah, it's very, very expensive to do that. So I don't think we can ever afford that right now, at least. Okay. So we have some more jokers here. Remember, we have up to five slots for jokers, but you can also sell jokers, get rid of them, swapping out for new ones. Enhances one selected card into a wild card. So this is a consumable card. This is what they call a tarot card, which is something you can get out of packs oftentimes here, but they can also appear in the shop. We get to pick one card. It'll become wild. So it would count towards Lusty Joker, for instance. Uh, Mad Joker plus 20 multiplier of played hand contains a four of a kind. Eh, it's it's only okay, I would say. Uh, so the rocket has gone up to $3 at the end of each round, by the way, since we defeated one boss. Why don't I crack open a Celestial just to kind of show... Nah, let's wait. We're going to take the Lovers, because it'll help with Lusty. 
And I wouldn't normally buy these, and I guess I shouldn't then. Not yet. We need to we need to build up some wealth first, you know, chat. Put in the 401k. Plus three hand size per next round. No, thank you. Okay, so we really want to play around the hearts. So I know like you're you're probably looking like, oh, you just need a jack for a straight, but that's not really important here. This might almost be enough as it is. Sevens and fours, they're not high scoring cards. Let's see what we get here. Hmm. Threes now. No good. You can wild an ace. Maybe we just go for a flush instead, actually. We'll plan to wild the ace. Let's go for a flush. Good enough. Because aces are worth the most. They're 11 chips, whereas face cards are all 10. Plus, aces have a lot of synergies with specific jokers. There are jokers that work specifically with aces um, and make them worth a lot more. So I think that's usually a pretty good plan, at least early on. So this will count for Lusty, and then we can just take the highest scoring uh, heart cards after that. Bonk. This raid wouldn't win most likely either. Yeah, I mean, if you have the ability, you should just use your discards. Now, there are some scenarios where you don't want to use your discards, but we are not there yet. $23. Okay, we got some interesting stuff here. Here's a different tarot card. Enhances two selected cards to become multi-cards, so those cards will give you plus four multiplier each when uh, enhanced, basically. Hope you don't get the heart debuff boss. Yeah, must play five cards as our, as our next boss blind, which is no problem for us. Okay, so we have an Arcana pack. Choose one of up to three tarot cards to be used immediately. That's a really good one to crack open here. There's a lot of things that could happen. I feel like with 1.0, I feel like I don't see the Hermit as often, personally. The Hermit grants doubles your money up to $20, which is really, really strong, as you can imagine. Okay. So, here's what we got. They will show you a random selection of cards from your hand, and then three different tarot cards that you could potentially use. Pug, what's up? Thank you for the 15 months. Enhances one selected card into a steel card, which means while this card stays in your hand, it'll times the multiplier by 1.5. That's not bad. We got lovers again, so we can make something else wild. It has to be something here, though. Hanged Man destroys up to two selected cards from the deck. They will no longer appear. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Interesting one. For... In order to do better right now, you would probably just do Lovers. Long term, you could consider the Steel card, I think. It's slightly better. I don't know how worth it Hanged Man is, really. I guess for now, we're going to do this. Turn down the quick mode, you think? Y'all want me to do it? I'll turn it down a little bit. Oh, whoops. Oh! <gasps> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. The game's convenient like that. Look at that. Beautiful, right? It just goes right back to it. I'm going to put it on two times speed. <laughs> okay, so that was the tarot pack. It wasn't amazing. Uh, Empress helps you right now, but long term isn't great. So when you enhance a card, it can only have one enhancement. So wild is an enhancement too. So you can't have a wild card that also has this multi on it. So I don't love it. We do have this Joker. Delayed Gratification. Earn $2 per discard if no discards are used by the end of the round. <sighs> so it stops you from wanting to use your discards, right, chat? And it could earn you a lot of money. It means that you would probably play more hands, but you earn more money overall, right? You think it's a trap? So you have to just be willing to play more hands. Yeah, you could get up to $8, assuming you don't get totally screwed. Uh, we're just not really there where we could be totally comfortable to do that, I think. It is a lot of money, potentially, though, you know what I mean? So, assuming it works, we'd get $8 per hand, whereas normally we'd get, like, only $3. Sorry, we'd get $8 per round, which is an increase of $5 over the maximum amount normally, which would be uh, $3. 
because you'd have to play one hand then you get one dollar for the remaining hands of three it's okay it's good it's like maybe a little risky you can also sell it later on for a couple bucks so you'd probably make your money back assuming you get one use out of it right so i think it's actually not bad to buy here and as one voucher to the next shop no hmm didn't get much here huh so i don't want to discard because if you discard once you get nothing from delayed gratification i'd rather play a bad hand so what do we got here exactly well, all we got is a two pair i can't make this six score for us right i could include it in the hand but it's not going to score therefore it won't trigger lusty joker because it's not part of the two pair so you can play this get a few points we get to hold that that's not bad Ugh. not a very high scoring hand obviously seven six five four once again not great another two pair now you could play that or you could just play a crap hand maybe even just a pair essentially and hold on to the hearts so that we get something better for the next hand basically worst case scenario we do have to use discards and delayed gratification gets wasted um mm. yeah so now it's getting a little risk it's getting a little risk right do i have anything here another two pair it's not worth enough yeah i think you just play for the flush now still we just have to get it i think now Earn two dollars per discard if no discards are used by the end of the round. You have to use none. You don't get anything out of delayed gratification here. Ding ding. All right, we'll we'll be fine, right? At worst, we have to discard. I don't think we'll lose. I have to discard. <laughs> Wait. Oh. No. Yep. We have to discard. Damn. Got screwed. So we get like minimum amount of money here now that should still we should still win we're not gonna die but we tried our best we got punished i guess Giador, thank you so much for the 21 months how do i know that that would score enough kind of just from playing i think enough there it's kind of hard to say otherwise there okay what do we got for ourselves we got odd Todd played cards with odd rank give plus 30 chips from scores that includes aces ace nine seven five three green joker I don't like plus one multiplier per hand played minus one multiplier per discard however there is a synergy here do we see it there is a synergy here right because we don't want to discard because of delayed grant yeah it's not much but it's something it is something i guess we'll go for it first we're gonna buy the arcana packs if you're gonna make purchases at the shop i recommend buying arcana packs first because you can generate money via them let's go with this one first okay so we have the sun converts up to three selected cards to hearts that's not bad enhances one selected card into a glass card which multiplies our multiplier by two but there's a one in four chance the card gets destroyed it's very early for that and to try to fixate around that so i don't think we need to yet bonus cards convert to diamonds makes a gold card if this card is held in hand at the end of the round you get three dollars i think for now we just convert a few of the higher cards to hearts there is some consideration here around which cards you should convert to hearts maybe obviously you don't convert a heart to heart but you might want to consider specifically doing clubs and spades you might want to consider what numbers to use like if we buy odd to odd todd right from the shop there you'd probably want to make sure you hit the nine here right because we'd want to play nines in the future All right squadron there's also some cards that have anti-synergy with face cards hmm I, I'm thinking we take Odd Todd to try to secure ourselves and not be too greedy. So I will do this, actually, then. It's not much of a loss here, really. 
And yeah, like I said earlier, there's a possibility we don't avoid playing uh, face cards in the future. Not sure yet, though. There we go. I'm going to buy this one, too, even though it's very expensive. But we get to play two out of the five that are shown. There's the Hermit, finally. Okay. Ooh, some tough, tough decisions here. So the Hermit doubles our money. Only up to $20. So we'd earn $11 from playing that. The Fool will play the last tarot card you played so I could get the Hermit again, basically. Uh, which will give us another $20 because we'll have 22 at that point. Judgment spawns a random Joker, which isn't bad. Justice is the glass card, and we also have the Sun again. And there's a lot of good options here, but I think the economy is the important part, personally, right now. I think the economy is. So we, we're going to play the Hermit to get up to 22. Then we play the Fool, which will spawn this card up here. It was another $20. This way we can afford Odd Todd without having to worry too much about it. Oh, wait. No, not Odd Todd. Sorry. I wanted the green Joker. Oh, well, we'll, we'll take them all. We'll take them all. <laughs> I kind of forgot what was here. Yeah, we're kind of going all in on hearts a little bit. I'm thinking. So we can now... We have the money to re-roll the shop. Because you want to keep it above 25 in order to earn the maximum interest. And we can take a look here. Plus 150 chips. A played hand contains a four of a kind. So the word contains is important here. Because if you play a hand that is a five of a kind, which yes is possible, and it will score, that will trigger this because it contains a four of a kind. If played hand contains a straight, so that means that straight flushes would count too. Okay, we don't want to go below $25, so we won't roll again. We can hit next round. Must play five cards. That's easy. Okay, so we kind of just... <laughs> We kind of just want to get to uh, heart flushes. Of course, we get absolutely jammed here. So we can play three of a kind. We get rid of basically all the worst cards here, basically. Yeah, there's some new ones. Yeah, there's definitely going to be some new ones here. We will try to avoid discarding. So green joker is going to start scaling. If I ever discard, we start to lose some of that stuff. We have that wild ace, so we can hold that. I think we just play everything else to try to get a flush here. Because we're only one away, which isn't bad. Oh, wait. That's right. Hand will not score. Okay, so we can still do this. We, I think we can still play it. It just will not score. Which is fine anyway. We're kind of playing it as a discard, basically, in order to get the money from Delayed Grot. Yeah, that's fine. It says not allowed. Whatever. I don't know if this will be enough, but we're going to play it, I think. So there's our flush. It doesn't matter the order of the cards, but sometimes it does. So, Odd Todd triggers just a couple times on the Ace and the Five. I think it's enough. What do you think? Let's find out. Green Joker going. Oh, it didn't count that hand. That didn't, uh, wasn't allowed, basically. Rocket gets upgraded. Let's go. Yeah, it didn't trigger the Green Joker. That's interesting. Delayed gratification, baby. $24 earned right there. Now we're moving. Now we're grooving. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Here's a new one. Gains plus three multiplier when any booster pack is skipped. So booster packs are any card pack that you open here, including the Celestials. Uh, you can choose to skip them at any point if you don't like what you see. I think this is pretty good. And it's still relatively early to get this, I think. It's pretty good. Is it perfect? Is it amazing? Hard to say. Um, we're kind of specifically going for flushes as it is, but we end up playing like a lot of different things. Go away from delayed gratification. I kind of like it now. It's kind of an interesting combo with Green Joker. And hopefully we can manipulate the deck to get enough hearts where we just keep playing flushes and then maybe down the line, like straight flushes. Or we could play like flush five or something like that. I don't know. Tough choice. Our voucher, foil, hollow, and polychrome cards appear two times more often. I opened a pack from the shop and got a surfing Pikachu, but then Dan stole it from Misage. Yeah. Wait, sir, was that that really rare one or something? I can't remember. I think we can buy the voucher here either way. To increase the odds of getting special jokers that are essentially enhanced. 
I kind of like red card here. I think I'm okay with keeping delayed gratification for now. I'm kind of iffy. I'm still iffy on the green joker though. Because the green joker counts on you playing hands. A lot of hands basically, right? I think long term it probably doesn't work well. Hmm. Even with delayed gratification we're playing around that I don't think this really works well into the long term personally I think it's a stinky poo poo joker is basically what I'm saying here sell I'm gonna take the red card again we're early so this is about scaling up something uh a lot here so now we can open up a celestial pack finally and look at some planet cards now I should skip if we don't immediately want something from here Uranus. So we level up two pair. It gives us an extra multiplier and 20 chips. We can level up the pair. We can level up four of a kind. I think that's a skippy dippy. Because then that way we get plus three on the red card immediately. So it doesn't feel bad to open up boosters. So we're going to open up a lot of boosties, right? I think if... Oh, straight flesh is interesting. Straight, two pair, pair, three of a kind. Is it worth taking this though? Over skipping? Nah, I think you still skip for now. Skip. Skip. So the red card is already at plus six, which is not bad. I don't even think we roll here now. Host a tournament where people compete. Complete to get the furthest. Generate a seed and a deck each round, which the two battling would use. Commentate on the strategy for Balaj. Well, I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about it. It's plus three either way. It's, it's plus three every time you skip. Yep. And sometimes, you know how some boosters, they let you pick two out of five-ish cards? Uh, you can pick one and then skip the second one and still get credit for red card here, by the way. Which is beautiful. I don't think we roll. Chop has an uncommon joker. Nah. We kind of just want to play rounds to earn a lot of money, you know? Okay, so we still have delayed gratification. So I think we just play a, a crap hand, as we do. I don't know why I'm including that ace right now. It doesn't have to be a flush. It could be like a full house that has a couple of uh, parts in it or something. Would probably be good enough here too. Is there anything else I need to think about here? I don't think so. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. No flush. Really nothing special here. So we'll just play these four cards. We're fishing for a flush. Okay, there we go. Should be plenty still, I think, at this point. Hey, somewhat. That's given us, wow, 55 hundo. So that's pretty good. It kind of gives me an idea of what to expect to get from one big hand in our next round, too, to know if it's going to be good enough and how risky we can take it. Biggles! Thank you so much for the two entire years. Ooh, okay. Another small synergy here. The game's kind of making things a little interesting here. I don't normally love this one, but it does make sense. Plus 40 chips for each remaining discard every time you play. So that would be 160 chips per hand. It's not a small amount. It's got to be way better than Odd Todd here. Because in order for Odd Todd to be equivalent... It actually can't be equivalent right now, assuming I keep all my discards. Yeah, even if I had five odd cards, it still wouldn't be enough, uh, the same as uh, Banner here. So we're going to sell Oddly Toddly. Buy the ban. Now, this order can matter. It's not important right now, though, so I guess we'll get to it. What's new, Biggles? So now, with the red card, we do want to kind of open up these as often as possible. Uh, even if we don't necessarily care about the rewards. Full house, two pair, high card. I think you skip. Unless it says flush. I don't think we care. We're going to crack this bad boy. So now the only thing we'd really care about is hearts or some other very, very special card. None of those are that. Skip. Red card already up to plus 12. We don't need to level up our pair. Roll it. Okay. <laughs> Heart.
hearts and diamonds count as the same suit. Okay, but... Does that mean diamonds will still score as for Lusty Joker? I feel like it's not clear, actually. It will. I feel, to be fair, I don't think it's necessarily 100% clear. Played cards with heart suit give plus four multiplier. Hearts and diamonds count as the same suit. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So obviously that's good. Because then we don't have to get a bunch of hearts. And potentially, like, literal hearts. It could be hearts or diamonds, right? But we're, we never get rid of Rocket, probably for the entire run. Delayed gratification kind of has this thing going on with Banner. This is a, what I call a utility joker. There's kind of three different kinds. Jokers that help you score, help your score directly. Jokers that help your economy directly. And utility jokers that help you uh, attain certain hands. You know, um, this is a utility joker. And so we have to ask ourselves, is it worth losing an economy or a scoring joker, right? In order to reach a better hand, an easier hand. This could help us attain easier flushes, easier straight flushes as well. Hmm. This is tough. You think we're fine without it? I'm going to be honest. I think we are too. Oh, this is a new one. Gains plus four chips if played hand has exactly four cards. It's currently at 16 chips. So if you're playing a lot of two pairs, this could be an interesting joker, I guess. Hmm. You think he sell the delayed? It worked with banner, so I think I'm okay with keeping it for now. I think this joker is decent, but I think we don't need it. I think right now we can live with the scoring jokers that we have. And we can be slightly greedy with two economy style jokers. So I don't think we necessarily need it. Enhances one selected card into steel. Add sell value of all own jokers left to this card to the multiplier. Nah. We'll buy that. And put it on something. Shop has a holographic joker. No, thank you. I prefer to just earn the money. Okay. 9874. Nothing really special here. Let's just play a crappy hand. We want to hold on that. Bad boy. Do I need them both? Uh, I think it's a good idea for now. I think we're fine. You know what I mean? I think we're fine. Do we need them? I think economy is important. And as long as... You just got to find that right balance, right? If you think you can get by, you're going to score enough as it is. Uh, there's no reason to get rid of either one of these right now, at least. But eventually, we probably would get rid of gratification, right? Let's play this hand. Hold on to our discards. Even that's... Look how much that scored already. Holy kings. All right. So, a card that we hold in hand. Thinking long term about this. Like, I could throw it on something right now. I wonder if you actually would want to put this on a heart, to be honest. If we had a low heart, like a two, three, or four, I'd probably put it on that. But I think in this instance, you just throw it on a different suit. This is more than enough, right? Because we don't actually have a, uh, a flushy. That should be worth plenty still. Bow -do -do -bow -do. Did the steel card trigger before a red card, or am I crazy? Money. Money. Plus 15 multiplier when zero discards remaining. Steel happens before red? Huh. I'll be. I'll be, chat. Each played 10 or 4 gives plus 10 chips and plus 4 multiplier when scored. Get it, chat? 10-4. Get it? Krispy Kreme, thank you so much for the five months. That's not very good for us, right? I guess if you were using that even Steven Joker, but that's the only thing I can think of. We're, we'll crack both of these bad boys. We got a Jupiter. We can pick two here, reminder. So we'll take the Jupiter to level up our flush. And then we skip the second one so that we still get credit for red card. 
Shazam. A nine of hearts or a eight of hearts that has foil. So this is an enhancement. Actually, no, sorry. This does not count as an enhancement. This is something else. I don't know what to call it, what they call it though exactly. This is a different effect. Is it just foil edition? Yeah, I don't know what the general term is. It can be foil, hologrammed, or foil, holographic, or polychrome, which are special, I guess. Yeah, th those are, I, I'll just call them special. So it can have foil and potentially what this one has, which is bonus. It could have both. I think a Veda Hearts with foil is fine to throw into the deck. Although, you skip, right, chat? You skip. You skip and you get plus three in the red card. So is the, what's worth more? A eight of hearts with a special effect like that or just skipping plus three multiplier. Do, 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 do. do jokers in the same pool of triggers go left to right? Yes, they should. Yes. So your order might matter in that instance then. I think this is actually still a skippy for long term. That's not that special. I guess if it was a ace of hearts foiled or something. Yeah, I think we skip. I don't know. That one's close. Nah, no good. Ride that bus. That's an interesting one that we haven't seen in a while. Plus one multiplier per consecutive hand played without a scoring face card. Doesn't really work well for us. That could that can get actually pretty crazy, potentially. And then there's this crappy Joker. All right, I think we don't even roll again. I think we just go next. Boss time. Cards drawn face down and after each hand played. Well, that's actually pretty bad for us, right? Because we're not going to know what we draw here. We will, There's a good chance we'll have to discard for this. You can rearrange things to try to make it easier. Okay. Spades go left. Clubs go to the right of hearts. Write that down, chat. Okay. I don't think we'll have to, but maybe. That was worth 36? And I say, God dang. So there's a decent chance these are not hearts. Right? Huh. Because the only thing higher than 10 is Ace, King, Queen, Jack. I was hoping that they would go in between the 10 and the 2, right? Which means that they are guaranteed to be hearts. I think you just play all these and just see what happens. Personally. What do we get? Ah, uh, two of them are hearts. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> okay. It didn't really matter, I guess. It still wasn't a flush. Okay, money. Get out of here. Get out of here. So yeah, even jokers can have foil on them like that. It's just lucky, basically. We don't want to level up the straights, really. Let's buy these Arcana Packs. I got to remember to skip if we don't need them. We can level up the Flush by taking the Fool. We could get a Wild card. Or we can convert three cards to Hearts. I think... Yeah, there's also Magician. So you can make a card lucky. Which means that they just have low chances of triggering a special effect. Strength increases the rank of two cards. So you can convert like the six to a seven, the seven to an eight. Lovers is the wild thing. Um, I think you just convert the hearts personally. I don't we I don't think we skip. We only get to pick one. So we make the ace of hearts. That's already wild, so we don't care about that. The six and the seven. I think it's worth converting some more hearts there than skipping. 
We kind of got to get that train a rolling, you know what I mean? Another Arcana. Heart debuff boss? No, no, no way. No way. No way. We don't know yet. Okay. Two bonus cards plus 30 extra chips. Make one card lucky. Give a card steel. Steel is actually quite powerful. But I think it's a skip. Poor red. I think it's a skip. This is actually getting really high. Plus 21 already. Rerolls cost $2 less. Yes, please. Yes, please. No to those. Here's an interesting utility joker. Allows straights to be made with gaps of one rank. Two, three, five, seven, eight is an is a, an example there. So you still need to use five cards, but yeah, you can make them out of almost nothing, anything practically, right? As long as, and then this would allow us to potentially make easy straight flushes in the long term if we convert enough cards to hearts. Yep, multiple gaps are allowed. This definitely gets weird. Um, but this is a fun one, but I think we can still greet it out and hold on to the delayed gratification. I don't know. The other Joker, Hallucination, one in two chance to create a tarot card when any booster pack is opened. This actually has a synergy with red card, does it not? So it's a 50-50 whenever you open a pack to get a random tarot card. It's quite good. Is it worth more money than delayed gratification, though? When you think about things, tarot cards are worth more than the actual price of themselves, though, because you can only get so many tarot cards. Uh, in between, right? So they're worth more than their weight, oftentimes. That's a fun one. Is it time to drop delayed grant? We could be even greedier and drop banner instead. You think we'll be okay? Banner's not amazing. <laughs> uh, Long-term banner's not amazing. It's doing something right now, though. Mm, you think we dropped delayed? Okay. So rocket is scaling up. That's another good thing to mention. Rocket is scaling up, right? So eventually, we'll still be earning the same amount of money. So now we are allowed to discard in order to win in one hand as well. You know, right? Hey, we got a Jupiter. Plus 13 multiplier for each queen held in hand. I don't think it makes sense for us here. I don't know what deck that would totally make sense for, but... We're definitely going to buy that, though. Let's uh, go ahead. Upgrade full house by three levels. No, not for us. I guess I'd consider it if it was flush. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Anything we need to consider? Nope. Play it. Synergize with ride the bus. Yeah, potentially. That was worth 13k, so we're a little ahead of the curb. Okay. Still earn $18. Definitely not bad. Throwback is a decent joker for the right deck. I don't think it's the right for us, though. You'd probably want to get this. I think this does uh, work retroactively. So even if we had skipped a bunch of uh, rounds, this would work, right? But uh, yeah, you would need to know that A, you already skipped a bunch. B, you're going to skip a bunch. So either you want to get this early or you're already skipping like crazy. Three of a kind is a no-go. Open up the Arcana pack first. Okay. We only get to pick one here. Tao! Thank you for those 26 months. The fool hits the flush. I don't think that's that great. Death, select two cards, convert left card into the right card. That's not that good here. Doubles money. Random Joker is a pass. Converts up to three selected cards to hearts. Ooh. Uh, tough one. It's not a skip. I think we can say that. I think it's a heart conversion. What do y'all think? I think it's a heart conversion. Not the two. The four, I guess. 
More hearts? Yeah, I think more hearts, right? Doom, doom, doom. Not the best cards, probably. That's a good Arcana pack, though. Let's open up this bad boy. Jupiter's here. I guess we take it. We have 37. We can roll. <laughs> Egg gains $3 of sell value at the end of the round. There are some things that synergize with this. Believe it or not. Wheel of Fortune. One to four chance to add foil, holographic, or polychrome addition to a random joker. So there is a bug in the game y'all should know about. Wheel of Fortune actually means one in 600,666 million. Uh, because that's how it feels, to be honest. 100%. Easily. See what I mean? Always scammed. Every time. Yeah, isn't, isn't one in four better? <laughs> oh, it used to be one in five. Whoa, what is this? Yo! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, chat. Hold on. Hold on. Odd Todd Pass. Retrigger all played face cards. So when it says retrigger, it means that it acts like you played them twice, essentially. But the big thing is, is this bad boy has negative on it, plus one Joker slot. What it basically means is this is a free Joker in terms of slots, because this will allow us to have more than five. So you 100% you take this. Yes, it gets us below the interest rate, but who cares? This is also quite good. There is another Joker that I think is new. I don't think it's been seen before 1.0, where it treats all cards as face cards, too. I don't know if we can see that. We'll see. So that's very good. So that also means that if we play, say, a Queen of Hearts, right? It'll trigger Lusty Joker twice. Next round. No. No. So we don't mind discarding here. We'd rather discard than play... We don't, we don't hold discards just for banner. All right. All right, then. Should have skipped. I already forgot what it was, but I don't agree. Do, 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 do. $17. You got to keep that keep the money rolling in baby do, 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 do. let's play let's grab the arcana pack first we only get one here we're at the diamonds we could make another ace of hearts out of something two random plants is a no temperance gets us 16 bucks we kind of get our gotta get our money back up i think that's a decent choice i don't think we skip Oh, you can do the King of Hearts. That's true. Mm, mm, mm. King of Hearts to, to Sock and Buskin? Mm. Tough choice. Notice how Hallucination hasn't worked yet. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Hmm. Tough choice. I think money. I think it's the money. Mega standard pack. So we can add something here. Give me a face card of hearts. No dice. Stone cards are weird. Plus 50 chips. No rank or suit. I don't think stone cards are very good nowadays. I think there was a time where they had like a place, but I don't think so. Earn $3 when this card is played and scores. is six of hearts. So we can take one and then we can skip. I guess that's good enough to take. So we can skip the second one. Get red card. You don't get... Red card doesn't trigger twice. Uh, If you skip on the first time. Is it broken? I think we just got unlucky. Neptune is... Interesting to potentially play for the really long term. I think you roll past it though. Two pair, pair, no. Mercury. 
Create a planet card if played hand contains two or more eights. New. Next round. Cards played previously this ante are debuffed. That's a little scary. So it means they won't give you any points. And they won't trigger the jokers involved either. Send it all. It can still count to create a flush. Potentially, chat. How important is it? That we play hearts here. Like, do we have to? Like, we have a pair of queens, a pair of tens. Well, yeah. Like, it, it's questionable. You could hold the queens. I don't think I do, though. There's a queen. I think you send back the nine. You don't have to. You could hold it. There we go. Never punished. Do 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 do. I think we'll be fine. I think. Is it gonna be a one-hander? It is. Okay. Oh my god! By six points. <laughs> it's starting to get close. How many arts do we have? Let's take a look. Scholar. Okay. Hearts. We have twenty-three hearts. Quite a bit less of everything else. Effective. I don't know what it's trying to say by that. Oh, because maybe I have one wild card. That might be what it's talking about. Yeah. Okay. Permanently gain plus one discard per round. We like. We like. Scholar. Played aces give plus 20 chips. Plus four multiplier when scored. We're not really going that way. Supernova... I don't think it ever gets that high. As the number of times Poker Hand has been played to the multiplier. So let's say we play another flush. Gives us eight multiplier. It's not that good. It doesn't get that high, I think. Not in this instance. I think there are some instances. But I think in this instance, not worth. Let's get the extra discard. Helps with banner and just general things. Celestial pack. No Jupiter. I think we just skip for red. J -j jumbo choose one no hearts no wilds skip reroll first played face card gives times two multiplier when scored hallucination has still not worked by the way not a single time <laughs> it still hasn't triggered i haven't gotten a single random tarot card what's this bad boy earn three dollars for each discarded race Race, ace, rank changes every round. No. Yeah, we're getting scrammed out here. This is actually pretty interesting. First played face card gives times two multiplier when scored. Hmm. Hey, Breadbox. You think it'll re-trigger because of Sock and Buskin? Is it already time to get rid of Hallucination? We didn't get a, a single thing out of it. Let's find out. I guess we'll put it at the end? I don't think it really matters. I don't think it matters for that. Let's try it. Use five dollars per skip to blind this run. No thanks. Um, I'm thinking we'll discard to try to test. All we lose is banner stuff, and I think we'll be fine anyway. I guess I'll hold the, all of the hearts, so. I want to try to get a face card, though. Okay, that's wild, so that'll work. Okay, so. You want to make sure when something like this is going on. First played face card gives times two multiplier. You want to put it at the end. We want to make sure we play this to get the $3. I'm going to find out if photograph triggers twice here or not. Boom. Um, Bump, bump. It did trigger twice, baby. It did trigger twice. All right. That's pretty damn good then. Especially in that particular instance, huh? Ooh, death is nice. Boss, decreased level of played poker hand. That's a new one and it is brutal. Is it not? 
it is absolutely brutal, right? We got two uh, things to open. Plus 10 multiplier of played hand contains a flush. Uh, it's probably not better than what we have, though, right? It's just too weak. Let's open up these first either way. Ugh. Okay, Emperor is okay. We don't want to convert to clubs. We don't want to convert to diamonds. Creates up to two random tarot cards. Ah, hey! We got hearts again. Ready, chat? Wheel of... Oh, it worked! Guess we're holding on to banner for a while then. Okay, I think we buy death ahead of time. Yeah, that's fine. We buy death ahead of time because we might want to use it when we crack this open. I could have skipped earlier, I just realized. Maybe I should have? Okay. Converting... Uh, Ooh, interesting things going on here, huh? Hmm. Obviously, we want to make a lot of hearts. So you'd convert these three. No other way around it. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. There, there's a lot of interesting things you can do here. I don't think we skip this either way. Now, we convert a three into a king. A wild king, to be precise. Is there a reason to the queen over the king? No, I don't think so. Not that I can think of. Turn that into a wild king. And then we're going to play the fool to get another death card so we can convert something else later, too. Can't do it right now, though. Plus chips if three of a kind. Times four multiplier every six hands played. Smear Joker is back. Nah, because we've converted a lot of things to hearts already anyway. Next. Holy crap, gives one dollar per unused discard this run? Um... That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, chat. Lusty Joker doesn't hit the king. It does. Wild, wild cards count as count for it. Hmm. The da so you might say like, well, why would you do this? Because you're not going to earn thirty nine dollars if you play the hand, right? So why would you not take the skip? And it's because of the shop. If we go to the shop, we get an extra shop if we play the hand. Which means that we could get more tarot cards, which means we get more skips for red card. So I'd probably earn about $15 more if I actually play this. But is it worth skipping a shop for? I think the no I think the answer is no, honestly. Weirdly. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. And we got the Wild King right away again. I always got to remind myself the order here. Okay. Two. Three. It's actually questionable if you do three face cards here. For photograph, you could do four. No, you still do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Let's just play it. I'm sure we'll be fine. It's kind of hard to say. Sock and buskin out here. It is possible you wouldn't want to duplicate the wild card. Honestly, because then that's an enhancement. And it means that we can't put another enhancement on it. So we earn $18 less. Adds one stone card to deck when blind is selected. No, thank you. Go up to $20 in debt. No, thank you. Remember, we want to buy everything. Destroy one random card in your hand. Add four random enhanced numbered cards. No. Add negative to a random joker. Minus one hand size. 
We're doing flushies, huh? <clears throat> we'll be fine, right, chat? We'll be fine, right? It's on Lusty anyway. Perfect. So now we have an extra Joker slot. We don't want those ones, though. So now we open Buffoon. Green Joker is back, but it's holographic, so it naturally gives us plus 10 multiplier. We can take it for now. Might sell it for something good later on. We'll see. Neptune. Fortune Teller, huh? Fortune Teller. Fortune Tell Her. You think that was a skip? Really? Maybe it was a skip. Maybe it was a skip. Better than the green? Plus 10. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I should have skipped. That sells for $3. Will this ever really scale past that? This will scale up faster. You might just skip both of them. I don't know. Hmm. I hate that spring. Yeah, you're right. I should have skipped. I should have skipped. It was a mistake. We'll take that for now. I'm gonna buy that now. We might get to that point where we can do that. Oh. Oh. Oh, chat. Oh. All flushes and straights can be made with four cards. That gets pretty wild. It, would, it enables us to make, to do straight flushes. Uh, much more easily. Because you only need a four card straight and then just a random other heart and that's a straight flush. Just get a four card straight hearts. And one of them doesn't even have to be a heart. Uh, and then just a random other heart. Straight flush. It's fun. I don't need it. Yeah, we don't need it, but I think this one's fun enough to make me want to take it. I like it how I just wasted so much money. There. Decrease level of played poker hands. So I don't want to play a straight flush here. Let's play a, a regular flushy. None of these are face cards. Uh, how much will Bellatro cost? $15. The 17 multiplier. I think it's worth it. I think we try to discard for a face. Do we have to? Do I have to? I think you kind of have to. In which case, I think I get rid of at least a three. Maybe even the four. We do have a lot of hearts in the deck, as we know. Never punished. So you put the king last. Okay, yeah, I want to play a flush. I don't want to play a straight flush. Because I don't want it to get de-leveled by this boss, basically. So yeah, the flush is going to go down. But that's okay. Aces do not count as face cards. Why did I get the game early? Uh, because I uh, changed the muffler on the dev's car. Hey, colors. What's up, Trudis? This Joker gains 0.5 multiplier for each card sold. Resets when boss blind is defeated. That is a fascinating one. Can we agree? I assume it means Joker's sold. Essentially. But it says card. It seems really bad. I think you gotta have like a very specific setup. Oh, right. You can sell consumables too. You can sell consumables. I think it's possible to have a setup for this to make it quite interesting. But... We, we definitely don't have that. Plus two multiplier per reroll in the shop. That's actually a really good one long term. Can we agree? We could get up to four multiplier per shop probably pretty easily. You gotta have the right economy. I think it's a bit too late for us though. We're on anti six. I think it's a bit late for that. It doesn't work retroactively, unfortunately. I think it could be very good though. I don't think it's better than what we got. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely we're definitely taking the plus one hand size there. All right, we get to pick one. We can make something wild. 
we can convert something to a seven of hearts. Skip. Is it a skip? Yeah, it's either wild or skip. I'm thinking skip. This is probably going to be a skip. Choose one. Nine of hearts. It's lucky. Not that good, though. If it was a face card, maybe. Skip. Take this so our hand is permanently bigger. I don't think we re-roll. Next. Adds one voucher to the next shop. Now, that one is a very tempting one, right? Upgrade flush by three levels. So, ultimately, we hope to get straight flushes here, though. Yeah. This is, is this, this is interesting. First hand is drawn face down as the boss. I kind of like this one, actually. I feel like I'm, I wouldn't skip that here. Do, 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 do. You think I'm clearing 40k in one hand? I guess I'm not sure about that. I don't think we need this, essentially. But the voucher is very tempting. Let's get let's get, try to get an extra voucher. Skip. Skip. <laughs> That's how you play the game, chat. That's how you play the game. That's how you play the game, honey. That's how you play the game. Royal flush, hand one. <laughs> So, Royal Flush counts as a straight flush, apparently, when it comes to scoring here. 71k. Alright. Uh, well done. Money. So, here it is. I've never had this one. Minus one ante. Minus one hand per round. What? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. So we can play for longer, essentially? Does that mean it makes like the next hand easier? I think we'll try it. We buy these first though. We're gonna try it. Ooh. Uh level up to straight flush chat or skip. So skipping gives us plus three multiplier. We lose out on the 40 chips, basically, we could get. And that is assuming I am actually getting a lot of straight flushes. So it's it's very close to each other. There are some things that scale with how many... We saw a fortune teller scales with how many tarot cards you played. Is there anything else to consider I'm trying to think of? Hmm... Not really. Skip is safer here, because what if I don't draw a straight flush, right? We're getting an extra plus three and plus 40 with the level up. It's at right now 140 times 11. So it would be 160. Wait, what? Sorry. 180 times 14. Mm, 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 mm. The multiplier and straight flush is buffed by the face card times two. Oh yeah, there is that. Because photographs gonna trigger before red card. I've been convinced. Um, I don't know if I should have played that right there. Yeah, sure, why not? We got more hearts. Two planet cards, clubs, hearts. $23 from Temperance. What do we got here to convert? A queen, a six, and a seven? I don't think it's a skip. I think it's worthy of converge. Yeah. Because even after buying this weird-ass voucher, we're going to be over 25. Hmm. 
minus one. So now we're on anti five instead. So it pushed us back. And now this is easier. And the run and the run keeps going, I guess. <laughs> okay, first hand is drawn face down. All right. So that means we're kind of ahead then, right? That's what it does. It buys you time to empower your deck, your jokers, etc. That is the purpose of that. I don't know if I love that, though, to be honest. I forget what it's sorted by. Rank or suit here? Sorted by suit. Hearts tend to be on the left middle, right? Not tend. They are. It's the second suit when sorted, right? So we discard. Okay, so these are all hearts. Might get be able to... Might This might be a straight flush, but there's no face card in it. Hmm. So this is either a seven or a six, so we can probably get rid of that. Discard these. That could be a face heart. Seven, six, five, four. So this is a straight flush. Either way, I don't know if that's a face card or not, though. I don't think we really need to worry that much. It's okay if this isn't a heart. It could be nothing. It doesn't matter. Yeah. No face card, so that means that we had nothing out of sock and buskin or photograph. It was still enough, though. Not by a lot, though. It wasn't a face. We got rid of a 10. Oh, okay. I probably should have gotten rid of the other thing then, in hindsight. Create a tarot card if poker hand contains ace and a straight. Nah. 10 4. Nah. Reroll boss blind. Nah. Big old nah. Yeah, we'll level up the straight flush. Again. Let's see. Nothing good there. That's a wild 10. I'd rather skip though. Let's roll a little bit. Egg. Banana. No, thank you. One in four chance to upgrade level of played poker hand. What's egg? Gain cell value each round. It's pretty bad. So this is probably good if you're playing like a lot of hands. But does it work? Yeah, it's probably like that other card that was 50-50. It's late. Yeah. This is probably decent early on for low value hands, but when we're playing things like straight flushes now, yeah. Multiplier, four times multiplier played hand contains a four of a kind. That's a new one too. Obviously not good for us though. We don't want to reroll the boss blind. No, 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 no. Um. I wonder about this. Do it on a face heart. Because it gets double tr triggered by Sock and Busk. Mm. You don't want it to get destroyed, though. But it will give us big, big, ugh, big scores. I don't think it's worth skipping for rares. Rares are usually very specific and don't, are not necessarily always very strong. It's going to be hard. I think Banner would probably get replaced next. I'm not even positive about that though. I think we hold the rocket for quite a bit quite a bit longer too still. Okay. You want big scores.com? If this breaks, I'm banning everyone in chat. Okay. Like that, you don't play the king cuz you want or you could play the queen, but you want to make sure this is the first face card so that photograph triggers it twice. Hold on, chat. <laughs> uh, heart debuff. Who's $1 per card played? We'll never hit it. Is there a re... I'm trying to work it out in my head. It's worth more points, but this gets triggered before this. This way. 
which will enable Lusty to trigger an additional time. If you do the king, you do it like this, so the king's after the queen, which means that it doesn't trigger till after the glass effect as well as photograph. <laughs> it's not a straight flush. Can we, wait, can I get a straight flush out of this? We can look for one. Is it necessary? No. You think I saved the queen? Never! Play it! God save the queen. Bring. Bring, 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 bring. Don't break. Yay, didn't break. 247,000. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Full house is a no. Earn eight dollars if played hand triggers the boss blind ability. Now that is, that is the greed, huh? Wow. So for instance, for this upcoming boss blind, lose $1 per card played, it would trigger it for every time you play a hand. Any hand. You could earn $8 for every single hand. That's an interesting one, but you gotta be careful with it, no doubt, right? Neptune's back. Okay. Beautiful. Neptune. Beautiful. <laughs> no skips here, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna say we don't need a chat. Plus 15 multiplier when zero discards are remaining. And it's foiled. So you could drop banner for it. You could. You don't want the popcorn. You could. It's the antithesis of the banner. And then you, that way you discard hard for straight flushes, maybe. Yeah, we do want something for chippies. Hmm. Hmm. It's tough. It's not amazing. I think that's the main thing. Like, I'm willing to sell Banner eventually, but is this really worth selling for? I don't know. It's really only costing us, like, a dollar if I eventually sell it, right? Is one way of looking at it, right? Because you get half the sell value when you get rid of it. It's back! Whoa, 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 wait, 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 whoa, 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 wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Chat? Okay. All right, so how does this work? So it doesn't work for everything if you don't know it. Copies ability of the Joker to the right. It doesn't work with everything, but it'll tell you if it's compatible or not. So it's not going to work with like four fingers. Um, I don't think we get rid of Red Rocket still. You don't get rid of any of the negative jokers because they don't cost you anything. You don't get rid of Photograph. It really still has to be Mystic Summit that you get rid of. We don't really want Hallucination back. Okay. Does it work here? It does. So is it better to copy the ability of Sock and Buskin? Or is it better to copy the ability of Photograph? Does it work? It does work. Will Sock and Buskin make Photograph trigger multiple times as well? First played face card gives times to multiplier. It's already making Photograph trigger twice. So in theory, it should work where Sock and Buskin, Sock and Buskin will make it trigger three times. Right, chat? <laughs> oh. Can juggle if there's a lot of face cards? I think so. Is it compatible with the rocket? Gain, uh, earn three dollars, thirteen dollars at the end of the round. Ah, bah, 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 it is not really incompatible. I'm surprised. 
It is compatible with Lusty. Note of Four Fingers. It is compatible with Red Card. It won't scale up like Red Card, but it'll give you more. Multiplier. Okay. Rerolls and next drop start at zero. No. I see. I see. Well, now we have no reason to not discard. As far as I can tell. Go for a straight flush. For fun. Strush? You're not allowed to play that. You're not allowed to say that. Did I play the Unliving? I did. I didn't like it. No, no. Hmm. Do, 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 do. That's the second time you asked me that question, honey. Hmm. <laughs> I need like a 10 or a jack of hearts. Send it, send it, send it. So we can use this jack potentially. It will work. This won't trigger lusty. Oh boy, my head. So you can get rid of the second eight. Okay, hold on. <laughs> no. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Do you drop the eight to them? No, I think you hold the jack and you drop the eight. My head hurts. Didn't get better, really. Dun, dun, no, no, no. What the hell? What the heck? No, 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 no. Uh, I played a hand already? Oh, I got minus one hand from something. Where's the Ten of Hearts? There's three of them in the deck still. I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay. Wait. Okay, I think we got it. Ace. Because we have King, Queen, Jack. Nine. Then the Queen, then the King, then the Jack. That's a straight flush. Don't ask me how. <laughs> Put that Jack over here. Oh! Oh, put the queen over here as well. You want the queen to be the first to trigger. All right. We got to pay attention to see if photograph triggers three times or not. Photograph once. Photograph twice. Photograph three times. Four times? Five times? What? What happened? No, it broke. Rip the queen, chat. It was three times? Oh, I got lost then. She broke. It's okay, though. That's still really, really good, obviously. Uh, hologram's a pretty decent one, but it's way too late for it. Okay, so we, let's crack open these things. God, that, that made my head hurt. Money. Or skip. I think it's a skip. It is tempting to just take the money. But I, I don't think we need it as much anymore. And you might be saying, well, why do you keep the rocket then? It's like, yeah. You can't rely on getting Hermit all the time. Is it worth grabbing like a three like this? And throwing it in the deck? Nah, not over a skip. Skip! One free reroll per shop. No thank you. 
Neptune, thank you, game. Lovely. Oh, right, I was counting the glass effect. Yeah, I think I messed it up in my head. It was $1 per card played. Can't really play too much around that. It is what it is, right? We have a five, five, four, three. So now we need like a two or a six of hearts, basically. Is it really worth holding the five? I'm not so sure. Maybe get rid of all of that. No, you want the jack. Maybe get rid of the three. Maybe get rid of the four, two. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's tough. I don't want to get that particular, I guess, yet. Maybe we just play a flam. A flu. So now I can get rid of that. Get rid of that, too. You want to keep the jack. We need a six or a two of hearts, basically. There's also some other things that can work here to get a straight flush. Never punished. Okay. So it's a five, four, three, two. That's a straight, but by adding one more heart to it, it makes it a straight flush. Put the jack at the end. Shazam. This is a very confusing tutorial, I'll admit. <laughs> Because four fingers makes things kind of confusing, right? Because you only need four cards to make a flush. You also need four, only four cards to make a straight. So you can kind of make things a bit wonky out there. You know what I mean? After three rounds, sell this card. To duplicate a random joker. Removes negative from the copy. Oh, they don't let you do that, huh? You want me to get rid of the rocket now? It could hit something useless. What's the best thing that it hits? If it hits four fingers, it's bad. That's the worst. L uh, it can't get the negative from Lusty. Having a second Lusty isn't amazing. Second red card is probably pretty good since it'll copy the plus 45. Obviously, I don't think I don't know if you can double blueprint. A second sock and busk would be good. A second photograph would be good too. Y'all really think it's time to get rid of the rock? Celestial packs always contain the planet card for your most played hand. Ooh. So that means we're guaranteed to get straight flushes out of that. So let's take care of this first, I think. The rocket do be giving us the dollar, so. Oh, right. Because I played way more flushes. Fuck! Skip. I'm an idiot. I don't know why I thought we had played a thousand straight flushes. <laughs> hey, there it is. I shouldn't have bought that then. We waste our money, basically. We waste our money, basically, I think, on that one. We didn't need to. I guess, I mean, theoretically, it would eventually catch up, but yeah. Uh, um, I don't know, chat. I don't know about this. $15 per round. And then we need to play three rounds, and then we can duplicate a random one. Duplicating blueprint would be good. That's good. That's pretty good. That's okay. That's bad. That's okay. Slash mediocre, I guess. How many rounds are left? Not a lot. But there's endless mode chat. Don't forget. Chat wants me to do it. Seems like y'all want me to do it. Okay, so now it just sits there for a while. One foil joker. No, thank you. Okay. I think you chuck all this. Do I drop this four as well? I think so. Okay. Eight seven six. We play around the eight seven six. 
So we need a nine or five of hearts. Hold just one of the face cards. We've had it with the Jack. Hindsight is 2020, honey. Oh, okay. The only problem with this is that it makes my head hurt. We still have the 876. Now we have Ace, King, Queen. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Two ace, king, queen. Doesn't work. If only. If only they let you do the wrap around. Right? But there's a joker? Oh, I wonder. I don't know if I... I haven't seen it yet. Does the 10 not work? Um, I would still need uh, the King of Hearts. I don't know what to go for here is the problem. Three discards left. I think we stick with the 876 ploy, which means I drop all this. That way we're really just playing for, I think that's the highest odds. There we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, queen. Queen goes at the end. Never punished. Okay. Ugh. Get the money from that bad boy. God, I hope the invisible. What's the best case for invisible here? What do we what's the best value out of that bad boy? Earn five dollars if three or more face cards are discarded. No. Three of a kind is a no. No straight flushes here, so I think we skip. Buffoon pack is probably gonna be a skip. So these are random jokers. No, thank you, skip. Guess you re-roll once here. Pair is a no. Okay. All right. 10, 7, 5, king. Wait, do we have it? King, queen, jack, 10, 5. Easiest game I've ever played. <laughs> Doesn't matter the order here, really? As far as I can tell. Okay. Just draw the, just draw the hand, chat. Why is it still going? <laughs> Four fingers OP. I don't like I don't love the utility jokers most of the time to be honest. Spade. Every played card counts in scoring. That might be a confusing joker. It means that let's say you play a high card. There's only one card that would score normally. This would enable it so if you even if you select four other cards, it's uh uh those would actually count towards the scoring basically. Crack the Arcana pack. Moon, Stone, Emperor. Emperor or skip is the question. Emperor could be big. It's a tough one. Emperor could give you a lot of good things, even a boat. That could be good in manipulating something. And this could get and this can get rid of cards that we don't want in the deck anymore, I guess. Do we just throw a five of hearts in the deck? No. No, we do not. I don't even think we roll here. Next. Base chips and multiplier are halved. I think we'll be okay, but that's bad, obviously. So this is basically just like get a huge... You got to get a huge score, right? Yeah, we could convert tens into jacks with strength, maybe? I think we rip a two and a three here, probably, for hanged man. That's fine. We can increase a seven just to kind of make it easier on us. We obviously discard that. 
Do I drop the steel card too? It's greedy to hold it. I guess I can hold the seven because I might strength it. I don't know. Okay. Whoa. All right. GG. <laughs> uh, what do I strength here? I don't want to strength the king. I don't want to turn it into an ace. You could hold the strength, I guess. Hmm. You want me to save? King at the end. Steel card gets played. Could be a decent score. And then we get to sell the invisible joke. Oh, actually, this might not be a one-hander. Never mind. Come on. Don't gotta use it. Nope, don't have to. There are instances where, like, you kind of really don't want to hold it, but four of a kind is a no. Earn three dollars for each discarded king, but the rank changes every round. No, thank you. Is there anything we want to sell ahead of time before we do this? I don't think so. We like everything. You ready, chat? What's that voucher? It's a new one. That's a new one, yep. Here, we'll read that first. Planet cards in your consumable area gives one and a half times multiplier for their specified poker hand. So that means that if I had the planet card that levels up straight flushes in our consumable area, I have to leave it there. It'll multiply the hand. Yeah, Neptune. That's... I don't think that's that great, to be honest, because it means that you can't play it, right? Now, there's instances where you can... I guess I don't want to spoil too much, but there's instances where you can duplicate consumable cards. That's hard to describe without showing it. It's interesting, yeah, but I don't think we're in a place where it makes it very useful. We ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh, lusty. It's one of the it's one of the lousier ones, I'd say. Not the worst. Not the worst. Oh, well. All right. Crack these packs. Probably just skipping. Has to be an amazing red card to consider. Like a red sealed something or another. That's a no. I think we say... I don't think we're going to take that one. I don't think we take this thing. Doesn't work for us. Four of a kind. No. Played face cards give plus 30 chips when scored. With Sock and Buskin, it might have normally been good, but I, yeah, I don't think it's good enough. Fortune Teller is plus 22. Is that better than Lusty? Our second Lusty. So if we play five hearts and only one of them, and one of them triggers three times, Lusty is better. We don't always play five hearts. Sometimes it's only four. Yeah, Lusty should be better in general. There's also Shortcut to get even easier straight flushes, but that's overkill, right? That's overkill now. Is that better than Four Fingers? I don't think so. Yeah, it would break our, bra ba bleh, break our brains. Yeah, I think it's kind of overkill anyway. Fortune could scale better. We're not going to live that much longer, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think. You wait and see, chat. Chop is an uncommon joker. No, thank you. Five, four, three. Drop it. Drop it, drop it, drop. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Drop. I could... Strength something here. Hmm. You think we keep the seven? I don't think you do. Because we just need a six or a two of hearts. It doesn't even... We need a six or a two. It doesn't even have to be hearts. And that's the straight flush. Oh, but we want a face card. Right? It's a tough one. I don't know. My head hurts. <laughs> oh. Uh, 
So this would require a jack. Doesn't have to... It can be any jack, though, I guess is the, the upside. Any jack. I could also increase the 10 to a jack, which resolves it. But I guess we can discard first to see what happens. The fuck? <laughs> uh the flush house it's not a flush house do 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 where where do you see a flush house here that's not a flush house wait <gasps> Oh, four fingers works on flush houses. I actually didn't know that. I didn't know that, chat. Oh, for some, or rather, I didn't really consider that. Flush house is a thing, not normally, but in this game it is. Plans, thank you for the 38 months. Yeah, but that's not worth that much, right? I don't know, maybe. It's not worth that much. I'm sure it'll win. Do I want to strength anything in the meantime? A 10 and a 4, I guess? Do I want more jacks? I suppose? I guess you can just strength the 4, too, because why not? It's all face cards? Yeah, I don't think that's ideal. Well, yeah, instead of the flesh house, you might as well do... a royal flush. Now, it might be worth more, sadly, chat. Because Royal Flush isn't actually worth more points. Interesting, see? I think that's actually better, so that Lusty triggers more times before Photograph. Does that make sense? Ooh! So wait, Royal Flush isn't worth more in poker, chat? A royal flush isn't worth more than a straight flush. It's just a straight flush. Each face card held in hand has a one in two chance to give a dollar. No, thank you. No earth. Hmm. It's the best hand in pokes. It's worth more as in it's the highest possible straight flush. Oh, I see. But it's not... It's still just counted as a straight flush. Yeah, okay, so nothing would beat a royal flush, then. It's just a, f a special name for the highest, for the best straight flush you can get. Okay, I understand now. No Neptune skip. Sell this card to disable the current boss blind. We should probably look at those, huh? One random joker disabled every round. Oh my. Oh my. One free reroll. Gain multiplier. All skips. All right. Nine, seven, six, a stitch, ditch, 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 ditch. You could consider dropping the ace too. I think you do. Perfect. Diddle-ding, diddle ding I guess so you could discard more to get more lusty value, but... Seems unnecessary right now, right, chat? Do-do-do-do, boo-do-do-do. I don't think I've ever played a, a true game of poker, to be honest. Okay, I think you play this first. And I might take a fool from the Arcana pack to level it again. We'll see. Hmm. I don't think we need it, right? Skip. You could convert 
The king into an ace of hearts? I think it's just a skip. Red card at 72, by the way. Hmm, if that was a heart, I'd probably consider it. But it's not. Skip! We'll roll it once here. You think it's worth grabbing an Empress? I'm gonna say so. One random Joker disabled. Would you disable? One of the Lusties? Honestly, that's probably the best. <laughs> that's amazing, probably. Jack 10 9. Drop, drop. Drop, drop. You hold the Jack 10 9 and you hold one of the hearts. It kind of doesn't matter which that much. Uh, drop, 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 drop. Yes. We need to draw a queen or eight of hearts. Possibly a jack of hearts. I think I, I think I'm doing this right. God, my heart, my mind implodes from this and nine seven six i think it's the same thing right you hold the ace just because it's the highest scoring one and it's not a face card pretty sure it's the same thing i think you you don't have to hold the ace you could ditch the ace too just to improve the odds but we got three discards we'll be fine right We'll be fine, right? How many wild kings do I have in this deck? Okay, wait. Uh, so now we just need an eight or a queen. Any eight, any queen. Oh! Okay. Okay. Um, I think you play that. Uh, we want to Empress something, I guess, huh? Let's Empress the two face cards, I guess. Right? But I'm not actually going to play one of them. I think that is, this is better. Or is it? Are we getting absurd scores? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what though? So what though? Why? Wait, I'm confused. Well, uh, our face cards get triggered twice. So you want to play uh, from this Joker. So you want to make sure if you enhance anything, it's a face card for that purpose. Also because of a photograph at that point too. Oh, oh, I needed the queen. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Never mind. I'm a clown from clown college. I went to clown school. I got absorbed. This guy's a real joker out here. <laughs> Holy shit. Chat, congratulations. But it's not over. Endless mode, go. Yay. Here, let's uh, refresh the bet. I love you, Twitch chat. When this run, the answer was yes. Guy, thank you so much for the gift sub. Thank you. Happy Bellatro Day. Happy Bellatro Day, chat. Reach anti 11 this endless run. Yes, no. Place your bets quickly. No, no. Blackboard's terrible for us. Hanged Man is fine. 25% off everything. It's pretty late, but I think we do it. Can you see the thresholds again? Let's see, where is it? Oh, I actually don't think I can look from here. I think to beat anti 10, the final score required is like 500 something thousand, I'm pretty sure. I could convert more hearts or I could just skip. There's only two things to convert. I think you just skip. Then. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'd have to go back to the main men. Skip. 
Is there a way to... Oh, I can go here. Blinds. 560,000 to beat Anti-10. Will we make it, chat? Shop has a negative joke. I think you go for it. Give me something good, please. Give me something good. I mean, you buy it pretty much no matter what. Jack, 10, 9, 7, 6. Drop, 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 drop. Okay, we're fine. I gotta play the nine is the only thing. What? What? No. Yeah, oh, that's just a flush. So you play the ace instead of the five because it's worth more. But this should be worth plenty still. Right, squad? Negative banana? No! I guess the banana could be worse. I mean, we could have discorded, discorded, discarded more here. We only have three hands. Why did that happen again? Red card joker. Lusty, is this the meme? The one you're asking about? Played cards with heart, suit, give a plus four multiplier when scored. I mean, it's a free slot. But... I don't have that much money. The thing is, I'm willing to sell this Lusty, I think. It's good. But is with this, is it as good? Now, instead of rotating out potential slots here... Let's do it for the fun of it. The thing is, I'm also incentivized to skip still, right? These are bad. So you sell. Campfire got upgraded. Take that. Then I guess we can just sell that too. Because it's not going to do anything. Actually, it kind of does something, but it doesn't do as much. I'm kind of fooling around now. I don't think that's actually a good play. There's Neptune. Oh, is that ahead of uh, flushes now? It might be. Oh, wait. So do I just buy and sell a shitload here? Well, we don't do it right now. We don't do it right now, right? We wait to milk uh, this bad boy. So I don't want to spend too much money. All face cards are debuffed. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I see. So that means this doesn't trigger, this doesn't trigger. So we move this over for campfire, I think. We got to get a straight flush over here. Kind of. Yeah, I'd, I'd, so photograph and buskin will not do anything now because of it. Seven, six, five. Hold the ace. Right. Uh, yeah, you still drop the nine here. Need a eight of hearts. No, it doesn't even have to be a heart. It doesn't need an eight or a four, preferably of hearts. Why hold the ace? Just counts uh, high score. This way, we just need an 8 or a 4. It doesn't even matter what suit if we hold the ace. Plus, the ace counts the highest. Um, We might want to hold that 9 now. I think you do. I still got two discards. Maybe it's a little risky. You could drop the ace now. Chat. Oh, come on. What if there was a joker that let you play six cards? Never mind. 
never punished. Okay. I don't think the order matters here. So I have to play these four. These are required. There's no, like, flush house or anything here. I don't think three of a kind is good or anything like that. You think it's still going to win? Kind of can't tell. I think you do duplicate the campfire effect here, right? I'm not sure, really. Easiest game I've ever played, chat. Easiest game I've ever played. Our first run is now officially taking us over two hours, by the way. <laughs> Raise the cap on interest earned per round to $10. It's too late for it. You don't take it. Still alive, baby. 21 bucks from that. Probably do that. Destroy stone. I think you do this instead of skip. Could use a little bit more. Over explaining to our run. That's how it works, right? Neptune. That's how you do. Pluto. No, 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 no. So, yeah. Do I think I need to... To get 500 something K, do we need to start milking the campfire yet? I think we take a cheap card right now and hold. Hmm. Oh, you can sell the planet too. You're right. Oh, oh. So we start holding, but I think we wait until we get to anti 11 to see if we can get past it. Cause I think we'll be okay for this. Straight? No. If it was straight flushes, I guess we'd do it. Oh shit, I need 1.1 mil? Uh-oh. Do I sell stuff? You think we'll be okay? This card's two random cards per hand played. That's not bad. I don't know if we're doing that well. Might as well sell now then. Because it lasts for the whole ante, right? Wait, did it work? <gasps> Why didn't it work? Oh, wait, did I use it? I accidentally used it. No. Andy, time everyone out. Don't look, chat. Don't look at me. It's not my fault. <sighs> Whoopsie. <laughs> bam, bam, bang. Is this even a one-hander? It was not even a one-hander. That is frightening. Good thing we started selling, I guess. Ugh. Okay, I think we'll get out of here, but... It's back. But we're not gonna... I don't think we're gonna live long enough to be able to use it. I'm sorry to say. Buy. Do not use. Sell it. Oh my god. <laughs> I almost said it again. Sell it. I have blueprint on the wrong card. It would have been if you had blueprint in the photograph. I'm pretty sure blueprint is tr still triggering photograph twice because sock and buskin triggers photograph as well. Yeah, the uh, this is this this re-triggers photograph. Yeah, we we figured that out like two hours ago <laughs> yeah it's triggering like three times converts all cards in hand to a single random rank no rare joker sets money to zero no skip need money yeah now we want money 
Skip. Time you out. All right, you heard it here first, chat. <laughs> I give and I give and I give. Ooh. Buy. Buy. Sell. Sell. Okay, now I think we start holding because campfire is at three. What do you think, chat? Holding? No. I think campfire could actually be very powerful. What do you think? Seven, six. I have an ace and a king. Um... Do you drop all this? It doesn't feel right for me. I feel like you hold that. So maybe you drop the king then too, huh? Yeah, that's close enough. Eight, seven, six, five. No face card though. Don't want to discard the nine. So you'd play... The ace. Discard these two to see if we can get a face card instead. I guess you could discard this as well. I guess that's a little risky, but not really. I'm probably thinking too hard about it. We'll be fine, right, chat? Chat? Thank you. Okay. Uh, so now... Do we duplicate the campfire? Instead. Times three multiplier at the end. I think so. I think so. Right? I think so. It does work, right? Yep. How big? How big? How big? Okay. Okay. So I think we're good. We don't need to milk anything else here. I'd like to get some... Another card up here, I guess, to sell for later. And then just kind of hold our money after that. Get Neptune. Skip. I never bought that voucher, right? The planet one, blah, blah, blah. Do I roll again here to try to get something to hold? No. Okay, we're selling that and that after this next round. Okay. We still duplicate that. Eight, six, Drop, 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 drop. Start with that. Got a face card. Drop, drop. Difference between king and queen? Nothing. Do I drop the three? It's not really going to help us create a straight. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, King, Queen, drop, 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 holding the nine might be greedy at this point. I don't know. We got three D cards.
I guess this kind of works for the straight flush too, if I have to. Okay, there we go. Now I'm happy. Now I'm happy. Oh, it didn't even discard the steel for us. Mwah! That was a good reason to get rid of the steel card though, because of the boss blind effect. Thank you, game. Okay. Getting a bunch of stone cards is a good idea when you have four fingers. Uh, stone card is really bad for four fingers, so you can't do... Stone cards don't equate to anything. You can't make a hand out of stone cards per se. So even if you had four stone cards in your hand, it doesn't count as four of a kind. Uh, you can't make a straight flush out of it. The best you could do, you could play five stone cards and they'll all count, but they're only going to be counted as playing a high card hand. That was get to anti-11, and the answer was yes, chat. Okay, so we need to buy and sell a lot. So let's sell everything first, then open the Arcana pack to see if we can get more money here. Sell. Did Red Deck win? We're still on it. Okay, we can play the Fool to sell something else here if we wanted. But... That's better than... I think selling something is better than both leveling straight flush and better than... Uh, skipping. Because if we get past this ante, it's going to be a miracle. It's going to be an absolute miracle if we get past this. Trust. We can play this Neptune. So we buy and sell the cheapest jokes. Sell. Sell. Uh, close enough. Sell. Oh, I should probably keep an eye out for a Joker to end on potentially here. Hack? Hack is interesting. Flower pot doesn't make sense. Buy and sell. It doesn't work for the face cards, obviously. So it would only trigger Lusty multiple times, is all it would do. We're already at times five on the campfire. Hold now for interest. So that this that is assuming we get out of anti-11, right? Y'all really think I'm getting out of anti-11? I'm not going to show you the score required, but I'll let you bet for it. Reach anti-11. The answer was yes. I don't have lusty. I do. It's in the top left. It's the negative one. I had two at one point. Reach anti-12. Place your bets. Place your bets. When blind is selected, create two commons. I'm just going for it to try to get out of here, I guess you could say. Maybe I could have tried to hold. Okay. Six and a half times on the campfire. What do you think, chat? I'm trying to wait until the bet's over here for a second. <laughs> I kind I talked about the score needed earlier. Campfire, I think, is actually better than we gave it credit for when we first saw it. Seven point two million for the first round. We need seven point two million. What's up, Trey? Seven point two million. Done. Royal flush. Put that over there. Uh, put that there. Okay. Look at this photograph. I don't know. 
Yeah, you can buy and sell a lot more cards than you think. So if you actually have a lot of economy, campfire could carry you pretty easily. Yo! 11 million. And I might be able to do a little more here. But I, we might not want to go too crazy. I think we do a little more. Do we bother with something like opening these bad boys? Our economy is destroyed. Save. You think we'll be okay? Hold a wheel? I might as well hold this too then. I'm kind of thinking. Okay, let's go. Add a voucher now. 865. Jack is in hand. Need any seven. Might not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, Jack. Okay. Temperance would be big. Temperance would be a lot of money. We might have to do more than one hand here. Probably, right? Ah! 15 million, 15 million. Each played six of hearts gives times two multiplier when scored. Card changes every round. That happens to be like really good for right now, doesn't it? Isn't that weird? No Arcana packs. I think it's a pass, though. You think it's a pass, chat? I think it's a pass. 14 million. All club cards are debuffed. Yeah, the suit assumedly changes as well. Well, we can buy one of these, I guess, because the interest will wind up being the same. Probably worth it. And then we buy and sell as much as we can after this. For just a few bucks. Okay. Hmm. Guess you drop that too. Drop, drop? Yeah. So wild cards count as uh, clubs. I don't think you hold the king. Yeah, the wilds are going to get disabled too. Ace, king, queen, jack. It's not the right. If it's debuff, steel doesn't work, right? Yeah, all abilities are disabled. So you ditch the ace? As well. King, queen, jack. Drop, 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 drop. Royal flush. Okay, put that there. Make sure the queen is the first to get hit. The best we can do right now. Not quite a royal flush, apparently. Wait, why isn't that a royal flush? Oh, I guess it doesn't work for four things. And not that it matters, but I'm just curious. Is the eight? Oh, weird. It's weird how it differentiates that. Like, it works if you only have four cards. It doesn't matter again. It doesn't matter, but still. Just kind of strange. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be enough on the first hand. What do you think? It was not enough. Ace, 10, 9, 7. Hold the jack. Jack, 10, 9. Drop these. Okay. Well, we also got a card for our super position, chat. Write that down. Beautiful. Okay, that should be plenty. 
Oh, wait, and I gotta... Oh, I should have sold one. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I should have sold one, though. Hey, we got an unlock here. Voucher unlocked. I should have made room. Yep, I should have made room. Could have used the wheel. Oh, maybe that was the way to play. Or even actually, I think I would have rather played the gold card. We got three more bucks here. Ah, mistakes made. Vaga bond. If hand is played with three dollars or less. Ooh, now that is interesting. Ah. <sighs> Create a tarot card if hand is played to $3 or less. Oh, they nerfed it. It used to be four. The next one. <laughs> the first hand requires 300 million. <laughs> Oh, boy. All right. I think either way you sell both of these to start. I don't know. I think you crack this next. <sighs> Damn. I guess you just skip. Yeah, I think you... Um, I, th I feel like you just skip. That was bad, though. Planet cards appear twice as more, twice as frequently. Definitely no. Do I even open this? I don't think you even open that now. I think you got to do it all for the campfire now, right? Sell. Buy. So if we want to do Vagabond, right? That means I have to buy this and basically end. Well, no, not necessarily. We only get three hands per round. Is this really going to solve it, chat? I don't think it is, unfortunately. It's a cool. It would be cool, but with only three hands per round, that basically means I only get the... Vagabond only lets me sell two cards. Per. And it also means I can't buy and sell any more in this particular shop, right? That's the that's the the main problem here. Ooh, I think you use that. <sighs> yeah, I don't think you can do vagabond. Maxing it out. What are we at? It's only five times. We don't even want to keep that. The end? What do you think? Jungo, thank you so much for the four months. One dollar per plate hand. If we skip, does that help us, chat? It's over. <laughs> we did our best. We could double skip. It doesn't matter. All face cards are drawn face down. Yeah, skip means no shop. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. We'll try to beat the weakest hand, I guess, huh? Time six on the campfire we got, though. Wow. Doesn't get much better than that, anyway. Okay. Uh, take money, go hard in the campfire? How would I? You can't see another shop. Hmm. Five. It's over. Shut up. <laughs> we tried. It's okay. I mean, yeah, it's bound to happen. This is how endless modes should be in a game, right? You know what I'm saying? 
draw any seven. I need a face card. I think you just dropped that then. No? No. Do do. Do do do. And those modes should scale hard. Yes, they should. Because I don't want to just play forever and just, it feels like I can never be beaten, generally. I don't know. My mind hurts. I don't think we're winning either way. Jack goes last. Okay. Jez! Thank you so much for those 20 months. Show me the meaning of being lonely. 765. Uh, Never punished. Nothing good there. All right, chat. Round of a pause. It took us almost three hours, chat. To get murdered. And we couldn't even get a tenth of it. It was good, though. It was a good run. It was a good run, chat, right? How do I put this on YouTube? I don't even know.